All right. Hey there. Welcome to Urban Cyber Threat and Intelligence Repositories. So I'm, I'm going to demonstrate how I'm going to use the threat intelligence data uh, in a great platform called Elastic Log Stash and Kibana to improvise uh, the great uh, visibility of uh, threat intelligence. So I start with the uh, typical data which I have collected from uh, different sources upon my own collections. And if this data gives you a complete uh, visibility about the threat advisory in the profile, and uh, I want to be very honest with you, this this tool will not provide you a visibility of indicators of compromise. There are a lot of source, open source are there where you can go and collect. This this will give you a report card or the rank card or a, or a footprint of an attacker. So this geography map will show you what are the latest cyber attacks, and it has been mapped with which kind of uh, advisory profile. So let's jump into it and uh, I'm gonna click my own country and I've clicked one particular geography and it is showing up what are the motivations of the attackers in this particular geography and what are the attack types are happening which you can see on the right top corner like defacement, malware, uh, malware point of sale malwares and certain types of vulnerabilities and uh, including account hijackings. So let's do a deep dive. So what has happened between these things is something that you can see that the victims of Indian difference, uh, e-commerce websites, Hitachi payment services, possibly a shift kind of an attack, uh, all those stuff, it will give you a visibility. So the, the split up of this type of attack, it shows how many malware attacks, how many hijacking attacks, how many defacement, like a DDoS kind of an attack, and how many bank transaction attack like shift kind of a thing payment gateway so this is about particular historical activity of what happened in certain country so how we can use this platform more reliable yep it does gives the yeah, attacker and his TTP map all right so how to do that what I can see is you can see uh, the top third actors you can also select that same from the available list here and what are the softwares in terms of, I mean, to say the malicious software they are using and uh, the threat actor complete list and the profiles and their TTPs as well as their methods and what are the counts of that particular TTPs. Let's say if you are, uh, you know, interested to know about uh, one particular threat group or a threat actor, maybe uh, we can say it as uh, PIN7 or PIN10 or whatever. I'm going to type in, let's say, PIN7. I'm going to just hit enter and it clearly tells that which region has affected by the fin group. All right. The, the, the United States of America has been the most top victims of fin 7 and this particular area shows what is the recent activity of fin 7 and their description and their alliance's name and uh, their motivation is cybercrime and yes, it is a targeted and organized crime unit mostly targeting Canada and the United States and these are some of the victims of uh, the fin 7 uh, especially the industry vertical uh, as well as some of the reference links and um, yep they are using these kind of malwares and uh, these are some of the most uh, uh, technical uh, methods they are uh, employing to achieve the attack so you can see they do this kind of evasion techniques so how does this data will help you is to map if you have an uh, endpoint detection and response tool make sure you have a visibility for monitoring and alerting this kind of the methods employed by the attackers especially when there's a powershell execution followed by an exfiltration activity that should be a possible command and control communication and your SOC team or your uh, nitrogen SOC team should be uh, you know interested to pick this kind of incidents to investigate further so like this let's say i want to see ttos what are the recent ttos attacks do we have something latest yep we do have all right you can see the the ttos has happened in terms of how to vulnerability exploiting ttos let's say i'm going to filter ttos again fingers crossed all right you can see that lloyd's bank dr uh baby soft and certain government agencies have been a victim of uh, DDoS attacks. So 
these are the counts there are the recent counts when i say recent is just looking back the data for the past three months uh, this kind of research project i have not employed a historical massive data set but it is available upon the demand and what you see on front of the screen is just that three months data rollback how else what else it can benefit let's say i have a malware name can you name some malware name i don't get something let's say trojan i want to know what are the latest trojan activities all right it shows so many connections of trojan yep you can see some associations with the trojan certain groups are using this kind of trojans and these are the list of the trojan yep you can see that lotus blossom earlier road and apt28 especially the trojan complex is the latest version of trojan and it been used by apt28 groom and oh, what is the motivation of apt28 yep sometimes they use for espionage sometimes they use for crime so who is apt28 right so that should be the next question right all right i'm going to find that out too all right so from this trojan i got that one particular group is using apt28 and now i'm just to know who is apt28 and i'm just typing apt28 and uh, all right it's straight away connecting me to a dashboard and showing up a data that apt28 also called as some group 24 5 cbr etc is a group that has been attributed russian main intelligence directory of russian general staff something like that so this kind of visibility it gives you can search for any particular keyword uh, threat profile threat group campaign advisory name threat actor name or whatever so uh, do i have an uh, indicator can i go and check no this data is not here yeah, copy and paste or replica of any other public sources if you have an indicator there are a lot of open source tools are there where you can go and deep, do a deep dive even i do the same all right that's it for my end for today Let's stay tuned. Cheers. Good luck. Happy threat hunting.